I want to add a quick note about this spacing that we see in this code. Now, this isn't just for Python. In other languages, you'll always see this. You're not going to see that every single line of code always starts as well in the first space. Different languages will use this differently, but in order to organize code, usually you'll see some indentation like this. Now, Python, however, is unique because the indentation and spaces that we see here makes the interpreter see it and say, hey, this means something. The interpreter would actually see the space and say, because there's space here, I know that this is part of the if block. In other languages like JavaScript, well, you have something similar, but usually you'll have an if statement and then some condition followed by, make sure I spell condition right, followed by something like a curly brace. And in here, whatever is in here, you can see that I still get the space and I can do whatever I want. But JavaScript interpreter doesn't really care that there's spaces. If I want, I could write my code just on one line like this and it's still valid JavaScript code. So people usually do the spacing more for style purposes. Python, on the other hand, is not just for styling that we do this, but because the interpreter actually finds meaning in the spaces, which is actually one of the big selling point with Python. It's very clean. There's no extra stuff here that makes it difficult. I mean, it's just English, right? If is old and if is licensed, then print this. It's just really nice to read and really clean. Now, if you notice here, my editor, and we're going to talk about editors and IDEs in an upcoming section, but if you are using the proper tools, this automatically is created for you. Now, in the programming world, there's this debate about tabs and spaces, and we're not going to get into it. It's frankly a little bit silly. That is, some people prefer to hear if they want to create a space, they might use spaces or they might use tabs. At the end of the day, with Python, the rule is you can use spaces, you can use the tab, but the idea that if you use spaces, you usually use four spaces. It's just a standard. Now, if you notice here, I actually don't have four spaces. It's two spaces here. And that is because up until now, well, I've just been following along whatever this editor gives me. But if you look over here, there's an auto format button. If I click on this, it automatically formats my code into the appropriate format. And you see right over here that I now have four spaces. But you see that the code still works. Again, it's because at the end of the day, the important part is that there's a distinction between hierarchies, that is the top and then maybe the children. But the interpreter itself is going to notice these spaces. So you do have to be careful because based on where this print is, as soon as I add a tab in here and I click run, well, I get is old and is licensed. But as soon as one of this is false and I click run, you see that OK, OK runs only if this condition fails. Again, if previously both of these were true, I only get the first line printed. So that little space here changes the outcome of my program. So you have to really be careful with this. And luckily, your editor or where you code is going to help you out with this. But it is a gotcha that if you're just starting out, you want to be mindful of. All right, no more debates about spaces and tabs. I'll see you in the next video.